If you're doing precision reloading, then uh, chances are you're using an inline cedar die, probably one of the most common ways to achieve precision loads. And uh, for those that may not know, that simply consists of taking a case, you would put your powder in it, put your bullet on top, you stick that all up inside there. This goes under an arbor press of some kind, and then you would apply pressure. Now, there's a couple different brands out there that do this. And, uh, you know, they all kind of work on the same concept. In fact, most of them work like my other 21st century, which is some sort of a gear-driven uh, design that moves a ram up and down. And we'll kind of get to why I love this one in a minute. But what I really want to show off is the Hydro Press here, which is kind of the top of the line in terms of arbor presses that people seek out. There's quite a few things about this that make it rather unique compared to something like a K&M or a Sinclair or something like that. Uh, the first one is just the design of how the ram works. So as opposed to something that's gear driven, which can be a little clunky and not give you a really smooth feel, at least not as smooth as this. Um, the way that they do this is there's a pivoting function right here. And so you just have a really nice fulcrum. You've got a long bar that gives you plenty of pressure. And, uh, you know, watching me seat that last one, you saw it just requires a couple fingers, you know, just boom, nice and easy and smooth. Obviously, that will depend on your neck tension and some other factors, but I run a very light neck tension and I find that it requires very little effort. It also uses a hydraulic line coming off of that to drive this gauge. So it's a very accurate. Uh, pressure gauge in terms of how much seating pressure you're taking. Now, I am not as big of an adopter of seating uh, everything exactly the same. Uh, I've, I've done a little bit of testing, and for my purposes, I just haven't found uh, that it's made um, as much difference as it requires in terms of sorting out all your ammo and keeping everything consistent. I do look for spikes or irregularities when I'm seating, whether I'm using this or any other form of uh, bullet seater um, but no matter what you're doing this gives you probably the most accurate gauge in terms of your seating pressure so uh, when I am looking for consistent seating pressure for some reason or if I am trying to identify anomalies uh, things that are a little too tight or whatever the case may be this is going to show me because it is so consistent with where it shows up on the lines there uh, the other nice thing is how this is designed with this really nice big knurled wheel and it gives you really nice easy uh, ability to lock it down you don't need to find an allen wrench uh, if you're doing multiple calibers that's a huge benefit so i really like that it's the same thing that's featured on their smaller one and the other thing that's really nice is the way they incorporate this larger base. Now you do pay a little extra for it. They do offer a version that is basically cut off right here. So it's only this section. Uh, but either way, this plate gives you a really nice way to mount it down. And uh, I, I do that with a set of pins um, through my bench over here. Uh, but the way that it works is even with this longer one, I can seat bullets all day long without ever actually mounting this down because your pressure coming down on the on the actual arm here uh, is is well offset against the length of this plate. And then of course, with the plate, you've got your loading block built into it. And you can order different loading blocks from 21st century. So they do uh, everything from, you know, 308 heads. This is a 284, so it's, it allows for the rebated rim to go down in. Uh, they do 223 and some other stuff. So um, I, I personally love this version. I think it's worth every penny that you pay for it. And, you know, all in all, it's, it's an expensive unit. I won't lie. It's probably twice what you'd pay for um, some of the other brands that are on the market. But without a doubt, it is the easiest, smoothest, most consistent unit without any kind of complications involved. So... If you're looking for something to stick on your bench and you're looking for something to seat bullets with an inline seater, this really is the best thing that you can buy on the market. So now that may lead you to wonder, why do I own one of these? Uh, 
you know, this is your classic design Arbor Press, very similar to like a Sinclair or K&M, something like that. It uses a gear driven ram that comes down, uh, pretty standard, you know, base with a, a bar and then your head unit on it, which again is not, you, you know, all that earth shattering. But here's why I own one of these because I like to seat bullets at competitions. So oftentimes, like for instance, I just got back from nationals, spent two weeks of shooting at Spirit of America and uh, mid-range, long-range nationals. I had to take roughly mm, 800 something rounds with me and all of them were seated long. So I seated everything that went to the matches with me uh, actually to my lands. Now, normally I shoot somewhere between 21,000s, 18,000s, uh, 23,000s, just depends. But obviously quite a ways off the lands is what my normal shooting is. But I also like to make sure when I'm transporting, you know, 800 rounds to a match or even 400 rounds to a match that are off site and out of my control, that I don't have any issues with bullets, either doing any kind of bullet weld, uh, doing any kind of additional seating uh, from getting bounced around for unknown reasons. I mean, weird stuff happens when you travel, even if you're transporting it yourself. And so to take any guesswork out of it, uh, I take all my ammo loaded long. And then that way I can take my uh, bullet comparator, whatever tool you want to take with you. I can measure my lands, periodically i can make sure that if i know that gun shooting at let's say a 21 thousandths jump that every night or every couple nights when i take measurements that even though it might only be a couple thousandths change over time that i can consistently seat it to where i know i'm going to have the optimal accuracy i do like that this doesn't require any kind of um arbor you know any kind of a uh, uh, allen wrench of any kind it stores down nicely if i need to i can with my toolkit take it apart uh, but i have a box that carries my seb neo and a few boxes of ammo this gets stuck in there with it uh, i take along a case uh, some kind of a travel case for my inline seater and it just gives me really good uh, consistency when i'm away from home now if i have a local match obviously it doesn't really matter but uh, there is nothing like being a thousand miles away from home and realizing that your ammo is all too short and not being able to do anything about it. So I'd rather take it all along, push it back to where I want it to be. And to give you a great example, I actually ran into over the course of two weeks of shooting at Nationals, uh, I went from being... Oh boy, roughly 21 something thousandths off the lands to uh, just about at my lands, which really required a different kind of uh, bullet prep. So having something like this is really critical towards uh, having a successful match when you're away from home. And having something like this is absolutely critical no matter what you're doing with inline seating. So if you haven't checked them out, head over to 21st Century uh, Shooting Products. Uh, they do make some of the best products out there on the market, and I'm a big fan of almost everything they make.